First gate, E7. No, no, you're not. You're not coming. That's the other bit that I met me. First day. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to hang out in Chipperly Chip Shops, mostly Dixie and Andrew Wally, um, home, skate parks, parks. So my favorite thing to eat is. It's a very hard question. Potato fries, peri peri. That's the option. Oh, spicy noodles. My favorite shape the person I am today in, I think a way that I can't articulate because it's all that I've ever known. Um, so it's like deeply ingrained into who I am, so I couldn't like, tell you exactly what that is. But I guess just the whole essence of weed is the final one. I got into my current career, which is acting by, by being street cast. Um, and that's about it. Erin, what do I know about life? Ha! Uh, what do I do when I'm not working? I watch Studio Bibli a lot of anime, studio movie and anime is not the same thing. So it's just some people we eat. Uh, what else do I do? I go horse riding, um, that's about it. The horse riding trajectory is very cool I did it when I was from 10 to 12 for a bit, stopped, worked back into it by like a year, stopped, and now I'm fully back into it. So, been like that. But I to the first person I'm called with is Suga Ali, which is my sister. She always picks up the phone as well, but if she didn't pick up, I wouldn't call my other sister because she never picks up the phone. Like if I was dying, I would never call her. And so I call Axel, with no manager. Uh, so my phone that I have in my head right now was Frank Ocean, wise man. I have been great singing the song. You know when you had this to a song in ages and then you're just on spot cloud, but I just spot that. And it just pops up when you're recommended and it just hits. And then you bang it out to the point that it doesn't hit anymore. Frank Ocean, wise man. Three <laughs> 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 items that I always have in that bag when you can house my book. Um I have a phone right now, but my phone would be one. <laughs> I can't. And my phones. And my phone. Because I can't leave the house without music. That's it. And my lip balm. It's not even free anymore. <laughs> And my lip on busy caught me having dry lips, especially in winter. So I had bar. That's it. Um, one thing I'm hopeful for my future self would be a house on the beach. Or is this anywhere hot, like an island with a lot of black people? Because for that, that would make me feel happy. <laughs> Wanna because, well, the director writer Wada is a very dear friend of mine um, and left with rocks. So when she told me about the story of like, you know, it's a coming of age film about a young Somali girl, which you aren't really see much. Um, and it's about like where you place a grief, how grief is processed through our culture as well. Um, so yeah, I was just like really interested in it. And it's something that I've definitely experienced in my own life. So I was like, it would be interesting to portray that on the screen. What do I want people to take away from the film? Whatever they take away from it, if that makes sense. I don't really have like anything specific that I would want them to take from it. I hope they enjoy it. Um, I hope some people, I think some people resonate with it and see that um, a little. Process of producing my first short. It was actually very seamless. Like, it was very easy. Um, I think it's also because of my relationship with the other producers, Simon and G, the director, right? Wild Up. Um, but with friends, so it was just like, very easy. Um, one thing I did find quite hard was the casting process because of course like I had seen everyone in self taped and auditioned and did a few chemistry reads with different people and it was really hard to pick between people because they were all so great and there was this one person who was obsessed with. And it's interesting because there are some people won't have like the same thoughts about things um, so I found that hard but it was good. Um, What's more challenging? Releasing or acting? Um, I don't think I can even answer that question yet because I've only produced my first short, so I don't think I had the experience to even comment on producing yet. 
that would be very naive of me. Um, but I'm going to say acting because it's what I've been doing more. Um, and it's just difficult to understand. How can I be sad about something that I've never met before? Most of the time, I feel like that line just, I think, says it all. Um, like I said previously, I've definitely experienced that before. And it's a very, it's a very weird place to be in. Like, I have a lot of family back in Somalia, for example. And it's like my immediate family, I think. That's cousins, that's my uncle, it's my aunties. But I feel very estranged from them, like emotionally as well as physically. And it's an interesting process because, of course, someone like my mother had come from there. We have a very different experience to that. So it's just, yeah, it's a very um, weird place to be because it feels like you're meant to be doing something, but you can't do it to go out to get there. A beginning of a will is grounded. The significance of the playlist is like, kind of record the film, that makes sense. Um, the director, right, she loves music. I think it was very much similar to her music taste as well as some bits of mine. Um, and it just kind of, uh, is a kind of a metaphor for the character's emotional journey um, and physical journey in the sense of like how she reconnects with herself and her identity and the identity of us that she doesn't quite know yet. Yeah, I think um, both Kayla's star kind of proxy for both sides of her. Um, of course, the side that her granddad represents, which is the generation that she doesn't know, which is, I don't think she's even, I think the character hasn't even based on Anya yet, so I think she's like battling with that. And then the other side is kind of that British girl who grew up in the end and is like, loves hip hop, loves rap. And um, so I think that transition is very um, key in like her emotional transition, if that makes sense. So, yeah. I think the advice I would give would be uh, find your people and then do it with your people. I think that's how I got into producing. If like, if I know friends I know, we're all doing the same thing. So it's like, let's switch it up. How about you act in it? I know you're a director, but act in it, I'm direct. Do you know what I mean? So like, let's just work together and like, if you want to do something, let's like make it work. Um, so I would say do something with your friends.